You sure you don't mind talking? No, nah, man, we cool. So how old are you, DeAndre? 16 in May, if I make it. You don't think you'll make it? I'ma be thick out here, you know what I'm saying? This is Munro and Fayette, yo. Niggas be dying. You don't think you're being a little melodramatic? Overly dramatic to make a point. I know what it mean. You think I gotta be some college-ass tie-wearing motherfucker to know what words mean? No. I'm saying niggas be thinking it's a game? This shit is for real. It's hard work selling drugs in the Baltimore ghetto. Hard work being a black man in America. So you've been selling drugs how long? Since I was 13 off and on. Mm -hmm. You ever been arrested? Twice. So you've seen jail? No, no, I got recogged both times. But I still gotta go to juvenile court, though. But it's not like that's all I'm about, though, neither. I'm just trying to get some money right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go back to school this semester, get put back on the roads. What grade are you in? Ninth. You're almost 16 and you're only in the ninth grade? I got put out. But if I go back and be cool with it for a while, they'll give me a social promotion to 10th grade real quick. What's a social promotion? It's when they promote you for being cool with it. <laughs> well, let me ask you, DeAndre. Why do you sell drugs knowing what heroin has done to your father? You know my father? Yeah, we talked. So how do you sell drugs knowing where they left him? People who use, they gonna use. They gonna buy it from somebody somewhere. Might as well be me. Does your mother use drugs? Look, I didn't mean anything by it, DeAndre. I was just asking. Hey, listen, DeAndre. Death Row, Death Row, Mount Lexington, Death Row. <laughs> Hey, Kurt. Hey, Blue. Sup? Check hungry out. Uh oh. I'm going on the hunt. <laughs> Boy, I got that look in his eye. Mm. I noticed that. You better not be thinking about stealing. Uh, who are you talking for? Scar. And them New York boys don't play that shit. Mm -hmm. Y'all take it easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. That man don't worry about the consequences. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, darling. Good morning, Ella. Mr. Blue, Mr. Kurt, how are you doing today? Making with the help of the Lord. I hear that. Amen. How about yourself? Oh, I'm doing fine. You know, we still need you at the rec center. Oh, I've been thinking, Miss Ella. I ain't, I ain't pulled my paints out in a while. The kids love arts and crafts, so I'm going to keep bugging you, Blue, until you come on by. I don't mind that. All right. Y'all have a good day. Have a good day now. Hey, what's up? What's up? Scally -o. <laughs> what you got? Diamond in the raw. That shit is right. Mm -hmm. Got clean works up in there? Talk to Rita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Hey, Miss Ellie. How you doing? Uh-huh. Why aren't you in school today? It's half a day, Miss Ellie. I thought Wednesday was half a day. Today is Wednesday. Oh, damn. Tay? Today's Thursday. Oh, it's a half a day today, too. Teachers' meetings or something like that. Yeah, teachers' meetings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Miss Ella, you say you let's have a basketball team. I said I think on it. Come on, Miss Ella, we be good. Well, I'll talk to Miss Davis down at Francis Woods and see if she'll let us use their gym. Well, we gonna get uniforms, right? Oh, see, I said I'd talk to Rose Davis. Oh, red and white for the Bulls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if we do get a basketball team, 
The boys who play will be the ones who go to class. <laughs> well, you know, I see gonna ride the bench then. Cause he'll never go to school. Yo, man, what can I say, man? Ringing the bell don't say nothing to me, son. Hello, Kayla. Come on in. Come on in, DeAndre. <laughs> yo, Dre. Dre, yo, man, Miss Ellis said we can have a basketball team. She said we can play in the rec league, man. Yo, Boo didn't come with you? Nah. Oh, oh. What up? What's up, boy? What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, y'all? Hey, kid. What up, oh, what up? Oh. <laughs> Girl, you strong. Check it out, RC. She could lift more than you. Fuck you, Dre. Sorry, Miss Ella. I forgot where I was. Let's see what there is to eat. Come on, man. You know you got five dollars. I got five hundred, and I'ma keep it. Yo, boo. I'm down to sixteen. All right. Don't make me chase you, motherfucker. Oh, come on, we ain't done shit, we know? You ain't done shit that we ain't seen. Get your fucking hands on the fucking wall. Man, why y'all messing with us? We ain't do nothing. You ain't Big Daddy whoever, but you'll do. Put your face down on the ground, you hear me? All right, yeah, we cool, we cool. Get on the ground and stay right there. Shut the fuck up. I'm about to smack you, you hear me? Where you at? What? I was gonna put it down, but I didn't get a chance. I got called that you took my son. I guess you want him back. Not really. Agent Cassidy, line seven eight. Agent Cassidy, line seven eight. Am I going to Hickey? You're 15? 16 in May. You're not going to Hickey. If your mother shows up, you're going home. You disappointed? I ain't never been to Hickey. I ain't never been locked up. Hey, you keep at it. You'll get there. I could jail if I have to. Is he McCullough? Yeah. His mom is at the desk. So what was it this time? Distribution coke, 16 pieces, man. You ain't found no drugs on me. No, we took the money off you. The money's on you, you go. I'm saying I don't sell drugs. And I'm saying we watched you. And I'm saying, ouch. <laughs> hey, any of y'all know Bob Brown? Yeah, what about him? He be snatching up bodies every day. You want to say hi to Bob Brown? Uh, nah, that wouldn't be necessary. I'll give you some advice, DeAndre. You want some advice? Uh, this is your brain on drugs. Nah, I wasn't going to waste my time. I was going to tell you that if you're going to juggle coke on my corner, you need to cut them dreads. We made you from three blocks away. Stand out too much, man. <laughs> yeah, but I look good. <laughs> Damn, who dumb as shit? He got the ground stash right in his pocket. That's right. I mean, I wonder what else he got down his pants. That's right. Guns, knives, a hand grenade, right. maybe. Boy, I ain't gonna tell you again. This shit is not for you. Yeah, I <laughs> think you're a man, huh? But you not. You still my child, and this is not for children. Please, come on. Okay, you see what this shit did to your daddy, right? You see where I'm at with it. This ain't no fucking joke. Now you keep on with it, and I'm putting your ass out my house. All right. I'm serious. And you going back to school, too. How much they get? 16 pills. And all the cash I had on me, like 200. Bugs, he gonna be mad. I'm just glad they ain't get the rest of the G-Pack. You still got the rest of the package? Yeah, we had just read up. Now I gotta get rid of all that just to pay Bugsy back. That shit dead, Dre. What you mean? I mean, that shit dead. When you got locked up, the police took your whole stash. Nah, they just took 16. DeAndre, now you gonna put it with the police, okay? You tell Bugsy the police got your whole pack. Then you revile that shit as something else and you sell it somewhere else. <laughs> now you see? See? You're still thinking like a little boy. But you just told me you're gonna put me out if I keep slinging. 
Now you're telling me what you want me to do is put the rest of Bugsy stuff out there? Just give it to me, okay? I take half, and I give you the rest. Look, I'm not saying I want you playing at this, but damn, Dre. What, you want me to just stand back and let you make a fool out of yourself? Here you at, get locked up for selling the man's shit, and the first thing out your mouth is how you gonna pay him back? Boy, please. That whole package got to be dead. Now, what about school? What about it? Your teachers tell me that you're bright, DeAndre. That you can actually do the work. It's more a matter of you choosing to be here. And not doing stupid things to get yourself suspended. Now, is that how you see it? Yes, Miss Davis. So I take it that you're here today to actually attend a class? Yes, sir. That being the case, I intend to hold on to you, DeAndre. Sit down. So you gonna get your act together, huh? And you gonna come to class. And if you do so and attend most of your classes, I will see that you're promoted to the 10th grade. Is that what you want? Yes, Miss Davis. So I should expect to see you every day of the semester, not just the first day and then you off running the streets with your little friends. No, I'm gonna do right. I want you to write it down. Hmm. Metaphors and similes are very creative ways to use language to express your moods. Now, rappers use metaphors all the time, and we're going to look at some examples. But uh, right now, let's hear some creative ways to complete this metaphor. Some people are hammers, but I am a blank. Wait till you see this backyard. Some people are hammers, but I... Look at this place. Okay, come on. I don't know, Gary. What the folks do out here? Hmm? Oh, so you saying where the party at? What you want me to be, huh? Twirling around the kitchen with an apron on, baking cookies and all? That ain't me, okay? <laughs> ain't none of this me. Shit, the rock. Man, why you watching this? Come on, come on. What, mm. huh? You a punk? Stop! Stop it! Stop it! You're giving me hiccups. I don't know, Derod. I don't know what you're gonna be doing when you gotta run them streets. You can't be saying you don't wanna fight because you got hiccups and shit. What was it like when they locked you up? Ain't no big thing. They use handcuffs? Yeah, they always do. Mom's actually gonna push you out. So, I carry that too. I've been taking care of myself for a long time. Move around from the I'm playing? I have to whoop his ass. It's getting too big for that.
to be quite honest, I don't know how much of a coach I'll be. No, you'll be great. I got heart trouble, endocarditis, been shot and cut a few times, so I won't do a lot of running. That's okay. As long as there's adult supervision, we'll be able to use the gym at Francis Woods. I can do that much. Be down there, keep him out of trouble. It's like last time, Tay, we'll hit him off. It's like, uh, what's up, what's up? What's up? Hey, yo, Dre. This is my little fool I was talking about the other day. DeAndre, Dinky, everybody. Everybody settle down. Tay, Boo, RC. Hey, everybody. DeAndre, Dinky, settle down. Hey. Yo, Dre. I want you to meet House. This is going to be your coach. Oh, we got us a coach? Yeah. This is the basketball team. How you brothers doing? Hey, check me out, coach. Check me out. I got skills. <laughs> got skills. You got play. <laughs> what? You heard me? <laughs> they just need some discipline. Way too much. All right, all right. Calm down, please. Now go on over to the school and have a good practice. Yo. Man, stop crying. Come on. All right, all right. All right see you later, Zella. All right. They talk this what shit, is your man, man talking about? You getting broke this time. This <laughs> like last time is always the same game, baby. Just you know what this time is. Oh, you broke. Oh, 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 you broke. Oh, oh, nice oh, you broke. This is my thing. Death Row putting out a new package. Or testers? Them fiends aren't enough for that free blast. Damn. Come on, Pat. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Time. You a damn hawk. Let me have the ball. Yo, coach, man, you see that shot? Man, give me the goddamn ball. Yo, what's wrong, coach? Man, what's wrong? Look, we, we gotta start with some basics. So what I want y'all to do is line up. Give me two lines. We're gonna do a layup drill. Hey, just come on, man. Two lines, man. It's team ball. It's not every man for himself. We wanna play team ball, line up. We're gonna, we're gonna do some basics. It's basic stuff, man. Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. Come on. You ask me. Come on, man. You ask Come on, come on, next man, come on, next man, come on, baby. Put it in. That's right, come strong, come strong, come strong, come on, man, come on. What's your name, man? They call me Black. You like to do things your own way? I guess so. You need to check yourself. Yo, man. Can we just play, man? Can we run a game? Come on. Then go ahead and run the game. Yeah. Yo, what's up? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. 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 Give me that video. Yeah, bring it right here, right here. Okay. What you doing? Writing down the stuff I want for my birthday. <sighs> Making a list, huh? <laughs> we ain't got no cereal? Where was you at last night? I went to the movies. But she told me she saw you down on Fairmount. I told you to leave them corners alone, Dre. You don't think I'll kick your ass out my house? I ain't been slinging. You must think I'm stupid. Do you? What? Think I'm stupid. No, Mom. Then what was you doing down on Fairmount? Boo been selling off everything we got left. But he keep messing up. 
So I went down there to get them straight. That's all. Get upstairs. What? Get upstairs, right? What, you don't want him to hear? You think he don't know we live in a drug house? Why, oh, Trey? Because I'm trying my damn best to stay calm right now. What, you don't think he know what you be doing down in the basement? Let me tell you something. I am still your mother, okay? And you are my child. And as long as you living under my roof, you're going to respect my house. I ain't no child, oh, You can forget oh, that, oh, child. Oh, you a man now, huh? You a man. You ain't got to listen to nobody, right? Not to you. Hey, friend. Hey, Bunchy. Hey. Hey, Bunchy, can, can I get like one cigarette? Mm -hmm. It's my last. I put the Andre out. Mm -hmm. I told him he kept on selling for Bugsy. I was going to put him out, and I did. Okay? Now he's been up there on Morrow or down on Fairmont most every night. You hear me, Gary? I put your son out. Put his low ass right out. Okay? Now I'm guessing he gonna go over to the old place and set up shop like Superfly himself. <laughs> that is till he get tired of living with no water or electric. What? You down at your mama's, right? I stay at the old place sometime. Well, you got a roommate then. You're a smart man. Charge him rent. You make enough money from Bugsy to pay. Hmm? All right, finally, I'll get a decent hand here. Finally. Let's play something now. Yeah, OK. Woman gonna fill this thing up with clothes. You see, this is Victorian style. It's not federal. Victorian. There's money here, baby. You see, there's money. And then they have the yard space is a place in Cageville. Check this out. Man, this spider bag look light. What the? Is it high? Is it high? <sighs> you scared me creeping like that. Ew. Yeah, them headphones on. Yeah, I was deep in a vibe. Uh, <laughs> Ma got mad, put me out. You cool with it, right? I mean, you're always at Grandma's house anyway. Go 
Come on, let's go. Come on now. The vital kicker, the drug dealer and title stripper, the idol flipper, the cross breaker and bike. <laughs> Call on Death Row. If you want to die, you better get on this road. Death Row. Last call. White folk money always on time, man. <laughs> Most definitely. What time you got? Ten past. Shop closed then, man. We still got like 20. Ship change over, fool. You got to give them jump out boys some respect now and then. For sure. What you mean? See, you got to keep a mind to things, man. That's your trouble. Right now, the police, they done changed shifts. The rollers that's been here since afternoon to midnight, they done took the cars back to the district. The rollers that's just getting on at midnight, they just now hopping in them cars and getting ready to hit the streets. Yeah. And they gonna be all bright-eyed and shit, all pumped up. No doubt. Yeah. And they gonna go around that first hour snatching up bodies. So how you gonna play that? How you gonna play it if you know shift change is coming? How? Oh. Damn, boo, man, this ain't brain surgery. You just gotta think on it a little. You sell when the police is on shift change, boo. Or after they've been out there for a while and they all tired and shit, man. That's right. And you best roll out when fresh police come out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. You see him there? That nigga with the keychain, he running the crew. But he ain't never gonna touch a vial, won't go near that shit. So the police know what he about, but can't fuck with him. Mm -hmm. He have a gun though, right? Damn, boo, if he don't wanna take a charge for holding drugs, why the fuck you gonna be standing out there with a gun for, man? <laughs> nah, man. The gats over there, on the back tire of that car. And that other nigga across the street, he muscled too. Why else you think he holding an aluminum bat one o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Motherfucker ain't Babe Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> they might gonna lock him up then. For what, a bat? Ain't no law against baseball, right? <laughs> See, it might not seem like there's a lot of thought to this shit, but that's because most motherfuckers don't think. These boys, Death Row, Dominant and Raw, they got most of fed because they smart. Dominant and Raw been out here forever. And the police ain't had shit to say about it. We got Fairmount and Gilmore wide open. That's our corner now. We just gotta be cool with it. You know what I'm saying? You hear me, boo? Dang. How they get their pussy look so pink that way? Hey, Blue, what you need, man? Just let me get an apple. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what's the bomb today? A diamond in the roll? Yeah. Uh -huh. Without a doubt. Yeah, I see that in your face, man. Bet you can, boy. Mm -hmm. Hey, Blue. Hey, girl. Where you headed? I got this, you know. I had a hell of something. Mm-hmm.
Like that hurt. What channel? You like this? Huh? You okay. Maybe I should get some boots instead. Whatever. Yo, y'all got them new Jordans? The one with the red stripe? You talking about the Grand Hills? Nah, man, I ain't talking about them off brand shits. The new Jordans got a red stripe where they used to be a black one. Them shits is the bomb. You sure? They priced at 139 but I think you'd like to be selling them for less. We selling these Jordans with a red stripe? Yeah, those are new. On order, coming in tomorrow. 139 price them at 125 You down with his son? Grant Hills? Please, man. <laughs> he said Grant Hills. Blow the shot. Andre, my man. You need to get yourself in your corner. Man, I'm clean. Call it a night, huh? You roll past here again and see that mop you call a hairdo? You're going to take a humble. Oh, man.
Might have to chill for a little bit. I need a break. Coming back? Can I? You gonna keep up with school? Yeah. You won't be bringing all that shit up in my house? I ain't slinging no more. I told Bugsy I need to be doing better things. Anything left? A few dollars. No vibes. I think my father been robbing me blind back at the old house. I'm gonna do good, Ma. You gonna see. You need to stay the hell away from me, Trey. Well, as you all know, Robert was to represent the class in the public oratory contest. But uh, with him out sick, we're going to need someone else to step forward. So, volunteers. Anyone at all, I'll be giving extra credit. All right, I wouldn't expect you to memorize the speech on such short notice. So would anyone like to at least try reading it? Yes, DeAndre. I'm volunteering. <laughs> to give that speech. And when we allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of that old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we're free at last. Look at that one right there. We got bald spots in his head. That's how you can tell he a Similac baby. They don't grow no hair. They don't grow up until you got spots. Hey! Dre, what you up to? Going to see about a job. A job? Where? Crab house. Where Uncle Cardi work at? He gonna hook me up. Bay Island? Let me know how I go. Andre, you know you can't be eating none of them crabs, right? Yeah, I know. I got an allergy. That's right. <laughs> My baby gonna see by the job. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> Okay, first you're gonna scrub out these steamers using steel wool. Then you're gonna put the crabs into the steamers, okay? Don't worry, we'll give you thick gloves to wear so they don't pinch you. Then when that's done, you're gonna come up here and empty out this stun pack. Ricardo says you're Gary's son. Yes, sir. I remember when Gary first worked here, he was about the age you are now. Fine. So when can you start? I know you're not serious. How is he going to learn about money if we don't show him? He don't need to be handling that kind of money. He don't know what to do with a dollar yet. <laughs> I can afford it. This money comes from working, Andre. This money comes from your daddy working hard every day. You know? Give me a hug. Thanks for sharing, Gary. When I have it, I give it. And there go your problem, right there. <laughs> you still got our stuff? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> I'm surprised you ain't taking it down to secondhand store, girl. Hopefully one day I'm gonna use it. But I won't stay here forever. I Remember when we bought this here dining room set? <laughs> Remember? Whatever it was, you know, girl, I'd pay cash. I know, baby. <laughs> we had, didn't we? Yeah. Don't make sense. The way they all so glad to see us, Paul. My whole damn family was glad. Look where we at with this shit, Gary. I know. I know. And DeAndre, off the corners. Looking for a job and going to school. Looking for a job? Yeah, down at Bay Island. And Gary, he gonna give a speech at school. Serious? Serious. Oh, yeah. He gonna let me know. You know, all I'm saying is if DeAndre out there trying, we got to try. You know, if I can, uh, if I can find some kind of work, you know, we can even find a place. You're a family again, baby. Well, I might go over to BRC. They got this 28-day program over there. Yeah? T-Tox myself. You'll see. I'm gonna get it right. <laughs> You need some time to yourself here? Yeah. Yeah. Say that shit happened at? Right on Baltimore Street, man. Shit, them terrorist boys running wild down there. Niggas banked me last week. Man, the bullet went right by my hand, shit, man. Yo, we need to send a message. Go down that deep. Yo, you see who it was, RC? Huh. Man, fuck them project niggas. They ain't all that. Yo, y'all not hear me, man. I'm saying we should go strong. Snatch box, no snatch back. RC, <laughs> shit. Why'd you go? Fuck you, man. Oh, nigga, stop crying. You freak out, nigga. I need more number keys! <coughs> Dre, <clears throat> you alright? I don't feel too good. What's wrong, man? You ain't eating no crab meat, did you? Oh. I must be breathing it in, though. Something ain't right. Let me get these tools. Nah, man, I got it. I got it. Ricardo, what's going on back here? It's my nephew, Miss Mary. I got an allergy. Shellfish allergy. Like, I thought it was only going to be a problem if he actually ate something, but um, I think it must be the smell that's doing it. Especially when I'm cleaning them pots. Well, just for today, how about you sweep up? Sweep up? That'll work, Miss Mary. I don't think he's allergic to brooms. So now I gotta be pushing around a broom? DeAndre, be thankful. to Antoinette. You have an appointment. I just need to talk to her. I'm Antoinette. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm Fran Boyd, Vanessa's friend. All oh, right. You work with Vanessa at the... Uh... I'm on the phone company. Did you make an appointment? No, I just need to talk to you, okay? For a minute or two, I got appointments coming in. Okay, well, look, I heard it's like an eight-week wait to get into rehab, and I was wondering if there's any way I can get in here any sooner. Do you have any medical insurance? State assistance. State beds are scarce. It usually is six or eight weeks before one of those comes in. What I can do is put you on the waiting list. Then it's a matter of you calling here every Tuesday to check your status on the list. Every Tuesday? That lets the staff know you're serious about the program. Do you want me to put you on the list? Diamond Rock, we're not some more tests tomorrow, man. 
Yeah. I'm in Ross, nigga, like I don't know what, man. Do that. We need to get back out here on the corner with something. Yeah, man. Shut up. Too slow, nigga. Quit playing, fool. <laughs> man, you sorry, dude. Yo, Tay, they go that dude. Who? Ain't that him, Tay? I think. Who that? Dude who robbed me last week over by Lexington Terrace. Yeah, that is him. Yeah, we're getting that one in the wrong place now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, get him, I see him. Come on, get his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take him off, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him, 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 get Damn, <laughs> Yo, you see that nigga with them boots, son? You, I ain't never seen a nigga run so fast in them damn boots. Damn, yeah, Marcy, you got blown away, kid. <laughs> I got close. All right, nigga. <laughs> but yo, you fuck with one of us, you fucking with all of us. Yeah, B. Good run, man. What's up, dawg? Yo, I got to get back up with Bugsy, man. You about to get back yeah. in, bitch? Yeah, yeah. I was just working on the crab house. Man, fuck that. Sweeping up crab shit for 4, 10 an hour, man. You down? I'm down. Uh. Y'all with it, nigga? CMB, CMB okay. motherfucker! Right. CMB. Right. CMB. Corners, Where that? Hey, Andre, you got to be joking bringing that shit up in here. Suppose Derard would have found it. I ain't playing. What you bring in my house under my roof is mine. Where that? Gone. <laughs> in the 38? That too. <laughs> oh, you think it's funny, huh? Hey, you check yourself. You gonna have to pay. Oh, you threatening me? That shit belongs to Bugs. Is that what you saying? You gonna tell him? You little shit. I tell him. I tell him about using a minor to sell drugs. I tell him about sending his ass to jail. Yeah. Okay. Don't you walk away from me. Thought you was supposed to be getting into a detox program. It take eight weeks for one of them beds to open up. So? So, so that don't have a goddamn thing to do with you bringing a gun up in this house where your little brother could have gotten it. And you, you who was doing so good. Why don't you think about doing good sometimes, huh? Maybe if you detox, you could get back with my father and everything could be just like it was. Okay, so you just done lost your mind. Cause your dad is just as much a dope fiend as I am. He'd still be on top right now if you hadn't drug him down. You know what? Gary McCullough is a grown man. And he made the choice to be out there doing what he doing. You brought him down. OK, that's it. Right here. Let's help. go out here. You friend? Who are you? Black said you took my stuff. I shouldn't have brought that shit up in my house. That's between y'all. I want what's mine. 65 bows, 200 in cash, and the 38. Look, I can get the 38 back, but I ain't got the money or the stuff, right? Now, if you planning on hurting DeAndre, I could pay you back. It's just gonna take me a little bit of time. All right? Well, give me the gun. He'll pay me back the money on the next go around. You ain't gonna hurt him, right? You gonna give me my money back. But y'all need to work it out so this type of thing don't happen again. Who's 
Listen. Bugsy. What do you want? What he want? Damn. I can't believe DeAndre went and put his connect on you. Anyway, you got something to kick in for the rent? Dre. You got any money at home? I ain't talking about that. Not that. After paying Bugsy back, I'm busted out. You gonna see me that. Got him nothing on his birthday list yet, and I ain't got nothing to go shopping with. You waited long enough. I know. Damn. I just thought some shit might have come through. Look, I'm gonna go out to Rice's Town Plaza before the stores close, see what I can scoop. Ain't you bought out there? Shit. I've been bought out every mall in three counties. That don't stop the show. I see you later. Give me some security over here. I have a black female. She's around five. might have had a little trouble. So you back to steady slinging, huh? Nah. Boo owed me a little something from the last go round. You ain't gonna re up? No more. How long have you been here at the rec center, Miss Thompson? Four years. Well, a little more than that, actually. So you came here after your daughter was... Right. That's right. I decided after that happened, the thing to do was to work with the children in the neighborhood, so I just came down and volunteered. Mm -hmm. And before that, you were... A mother. I raised five children, and they're all doing good. Uh, you raised your children before the neighborhood became as bad as it did. No, oh, it's not so bad. I mean, it's bad, but it can get better. That's what I tell Kiti, my son Kiti, when he tells me he wants to move. I tell him that it will only get worse if everyone just gives up. So you see the rec center as some sort of a focal point for the neighborhood? 
I open those doors every day at three. And when they're little, I get them for three hours a day. And that's a good, safe place for them to be. What kind of a difference uh, do you think it makes for the older ones, like um, DeAndre McCullough? Well, I'm hoping to get a basketball team together. You know, that might occupy their time and attention. And keep them away from the corners, you think? <sighs> because you're not naive, Miss Thompson. You live on Fed Street, and you know that DeAndre and his crew are selling drugs. People label these children and write them off, but I see sides of them that you don't see. Mm -hmm. I know the corners are a reality, especially when they get to be around DeAndre's age, but I also know from seeing them every day in my heart that DeAndre and Dinky, Tay, and R.C. have it in them to do good things. Are you ever frightened? I mean, after what happened to your daughter? No. Mm -mm. Why not? I live here. This is where I live. Satisfied till they lock me up again. Here come the police now. <laughs> 